Hi, I'm Akhilesh Kumar Shavastu. In the series of programming of uh, this text, uh, in the last lecture, we have discussed about the postfix evaluation. In today's lecture, we'll see the prefix evaluation. The evaluation of a prefix, evaluation, prefix uh, expression is very much similar to what we did in the postfix expression. So if you have not seen my previous video, please go for that because we will only be making uh, certain changes in that and then we'll convert that to prefix evaluation. So now let's uh, see the process of the prefix evaluation with an example. So let's say I have the expression of kind plus three, four. So meaning of this expression is that we have two operands, three and four, and the plus symbol is applied in between these. So the answer should be three plus four, that is equal to seven. So for performing the prefix evaluation using the stack, you will have to reverse the given expression first. So this was the expression and we have reversed this to four, three plus. After this, when you observe uh, an operand here in this expression, just put it on the stack. And when you obtain the operator, you push it on this, uh, you pop the stack. So first we have obtained four, we have pushed this on the stack. Then we have obtained three, we have pushed this on the stack. Then we are obtaining a plus. It means this is the operator, so you will have to pop the stack. So let's take the first popped item in A and the next popped element in B. And then you perform the operator in between A and B. So A plus B is performed, it means 3 plus 4 is performed. The answer will be 7. There is certain change that we have made uh, uh, in the postfix evaluation that has made it conversion in the prefix evaluation. In the postfix evaluation, the first popped element used to be taken in B variable, and the next was taken in the A, and then we were applying the operator on A and B. Here, the first popped element is taken in A, and the next popped element is taken in B. So this is just the reverse of what we did in the postfix evaluation. Uh, let's take a bigger expression that will make you make this concept better to you. So let's say we have the expression of kind multiplication two plus nine eight. Uh, let's make it even better. Let's say the expression is two. Okay, so as a first step, we will have to reverse this expression. So this is 2, 8, 9 plus 2 multiplication and division. And then a stack. We are obtaining the operand. So put it on the stack, operand, put it on the stack, operand again, put it on the stack. Then we have the operator plus symbol. So pop the stack. First popped element is taken in A. Second popped element is taken in B. And then we will perform the operation A plus H, A plus B. So the answer will be 17, and the 17 will be pushed on the stack. So on the stack, we have 17 and 2. Then I have a 2, push it on the stack. I have a multiplication sign, pop the stack. First popped element is taken in A. Next popped element is taken in B. And then we're going to perform A multiplied with B. And the answer will be pushed on the stack. So we already have a 2 here. And 2 multiplied with 17, that is 34, will be pushed on the stack. Then I have a division sign. So we'll have to pop the stack. And the popped element is taken in A. We will have to pop the stack once again. And the popped element is taken in B. Operation that we're performing is A division B. And A division B gives us 34 divided by 2, it means 17, and 17 will be pushed on the stack. Since the expression has finished, and expression does not have any more symbol, so I'll just pop this element from the stack, and this will be the answer. So let's code this. Let's try to code this. In the previous lecture, we have uh, already written this code for the evaluation of the postfix expression. I'm just going to explain this to you, uh, to you very quickly, and then we'll convert this to the prefix expression. So we are uh, having the postfix expression, and one symbol of the postfix expression is taken in symbol variable. We are going to identify if this symbol is operand or the operator. So if uh, we have a single digit operand, so the operand or the characters that we are operating from the postfix expression will be in between zero to nine. 
So if uh, the ASCII value of the symbol is greater than zero, the ASCII value and it is less than or equal to the ASCII value of nine, then we are going to put this on, on the stack. But before pushing this element on the stack, to convert this uh, character to the numeral, I will have to subtract the ASCII value of zero from this. So if we have the operand, we put this on the stack. And then if we have the operand, operand then we were popping two elements from the stack and then applying the symbol on this a and b. We have also designed the uh, evaluate function which, were, which was having three elements or three parameters a, b and the operator. Depending on the operator we were returning the answer. If the operator is plus then we were returning a plus b. If it is minus we were returning a minus b and so on and so forth. If I have the modulus then we were returning the a minus b. So this was uh, how we did the uh, postfix evaluation at the end when uh, the symbols have finished then we were popping the element from the stack and then what that was the that was the answer so uh, let's convert this to uh, prefix evaluation for doing the prefix evaluation just let's change the name first so we are doing the prefix evaluation and in this prefix evaluation a prefix expression is given to us let's say and uh, by the time this prefix expression is having some characters in it, we'll keep on identifying the character whether it is operand or the operator. Now, uh, we will have to reverse the given prefix expression. That is the first task that we need to do. So we are calling the strrev function. We're passing the prefix. The strrev function reverses the prefix expression in place. So the strrev requires the header file declaration string dot s. So we will just declare this file, or we will include this string dot h also in our function. Another change that is required in the prefix evaluation that when we are having the operator as a symbol, then the first popped element is taken in a, and the second popped element is taken in b. In the postfix evaluation, we used to take first popped in B and second popped in A. But in prefix evaluation, the first pop will be taken in A and the second pop will be taken in B. And after this, where the when we don't have any symbol, we will pop the stack and we'll print that. So uh, we are going to call the prefix evaluation function. And let's pass a defix expression, a very simple prefix expression. Too plus three, four, which means three plus four, the answer will be seven. Now let's run this. Yes, this runs fine. So it, it does not have any error. So let's run this and let's see, let's see if this gives you the correct answer. Yes, plus three, four will give you the answer seven. Let's take the same example that we took in the, click on the whiteboard. So the expression is, 289 plus 2 multiplication and division. 289, sorry, uh, this, this was the reverse one. The original was division multiplication 2 plus okay, so division multiplication 2 plus and then 982 Nine eight two. The answer expected is seventy, and you can see that our program has given the answer seventeen. So I think the the code written here is correct. So thank you so much for watching this video. In the next lecture, we will come with some more concepts related to this. Thank you.